uh, Kayla, I talked to both Nate and uh, Jared about this, but you and Nate both used the, the phrase over the last couple of days that it starts with the top players, you know, players like yourself and Nate. Two goals for you, a goal for Nate. Just what can you say about you know, Nate's performance and, and your kind of mindset going into this game? Yeah, I mean, obviously, do or die game. So uh, from here on out in this series. So um, for us, I think each of us, we, we all feed off each other kind of. And um, at the end of the day, we got to be um, the best we can be. And a um, couple of lapses in games, and I felt like we were back to kind of um, forcing their forcing their hand tonight and playing well. So, yeah. what do you think was working so well in your eyes on the power play today? Uh, I think I, I've been taking a look at it, but again, just moving feet and quick uh, quick puck movement. I felt like um, once we were getting pucks, it was right on and off the stick, and um, trying to avoid a little bit of their pressure. So, um, again, same kind of having that different mentality of that attack mentality and not trying to back back down or trying to look for the perfect play. Nick, go ahead. Just describe the second goal, the move you made to set up the shot. Yeah. Um, I just, honestly, I just tried to uh, get it to the net. I think, I don't know who it was, I think Lecky maybe pulled backside and um, I just tried to throw it at the net there. But um, the first off, I, I mean, when you have a little bit of space on the blue line, you're trying to come down. So you want to obviously um, make the other guy work or make him pick a side. So for me, I just tried to take it wide and then um, get it to the net. A, a goal with under a second left can change the momentum of a game. Like, How much does a goal like that change the mentality for you guys heading into the locker room? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, we didn't want to be down, down one I think, coming into the second. And, uh, I felt we, we played so great the first period, just spending so much time in their zone and creating good chances and uh, great feeling to capitalize on that and get a little energy and uh, coming into the second with that. Kale, uh, what can you say about Georgie's just resolve, especially going back to the start of the playoffs to now? He's just been really rock solid for you guys. Yeah, I mean, playoffs can be unique. Um, you can have off games sometimes, but it's just it's about how you recover and how you're, you're mentally strong enough to bring it back. and. Um, Obviously, going back to last series, it was a tough first game for the whole team. It wasn't just him. So, um, And then he just completely picked it up and, and changed his mindset in the second game, and he's been awesome for us since. So, um, again, that just goes back to that toughness and the, the mentality that doesn't matter anymore. You're kind of just going day by day. So, um, yeah. Alex, a lot of the talk heading into this game was about how you guys had yet to play with the lead and trailing at every intermission, first and second, things like that. Does your mindset change at all when you have a lead versus when you're trailing? For example, third period, you guys are up two goals, you give one up. Does that change at all for you to know that you still have that cushion? Um, I feel during the regular season, and even this playoff, we, uh, we've been finding good ways to come back and win games when we're, when we're down uh, in the game. So I, I feel confident in our group. And it, um, you got to take every game one one shift at a time. You can bring baggage uh, with you from previous games. Obviously, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's better to, to have a lead, and that changes the game uh, for us and for them. But you have to play it as, as it comes, and I feel, I feel good if we play full 60. It doesn't matter if they score first or if we do, as long as we um, play from the start until the end. Just, Kel, you've won this thing. I mean, can you describe when you get a team like this and you know the opportunity's there, just the desperation to not let it slip away? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's tough. Um, you're playing desperate hockey now. Everybody's got to play on the edge. Um, you got to fight for every single chance that you're getting now, obviously, um, being elimination games. So, um, I mean, on our run, we were never put in a position where, where we're down in a series like this, but we've been down yeah, years prior and stuff. So, um, again, it's just, I think, like Georgie touched on too, not taking baggage from each game. Um, we have a couple tough games, and we got to move on and find a way. And I think uh, the guys had a really good mentality. We got a good mentality coming into today, and um, we got to hopefully continue that and uh, even excel more with it going into uh, a home game next. Thanks, 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 Thanks.